Hey everyone, this is Michael here, and today I thought I would show you how to play the guitar solo from Darius Rucker's rendition of Wagon Wheel. This is a neat little country solo. It's short, but it's got a lot of great technique to it, and it's melodic. It's singable, and the best guitar solos are that way. So go ahead and grab your guitar, and let's break it down. So we are going to break this solo down into four phrases. And the first phrase starts with a pickup, okay? So we're going to start early on the and of three. Okay, and that's going to be the open low E. We're going to hammer on to the second fret. And then the open A string. Okay, so it's one and two and three and four and. One and two and three. There's our pickup. Then we are going to do a full step bend on the second fret of the A string. Now, full step meaning we're bending up to the pitch of the note two frets higher. Okay, so we're going to try to hit that pitch there. Release back down. Open string. Okay, so full step bend, release, open. Now we're going to do the same thing on the fourth fret of the D string. We're going to bend up a full step. Release back down and then second fret on the D string. Phrase one, put all together, we get. The second phrase is going to continue to work with this A major pentatonic scale, but it's gonna move us from the second position up to the fourth position. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play two four on the D string and two four on the G string. Now the D string notes are hammered on. So we've got hammer on from the second fret to the fourth fret. And then we're gonna pick the next two notes. Okay, so two four, two four. Then we're gonna play the open D string. And we're going to go back to the fourth fret on the G and slide that note up to the sixth fret. Okay, then we're going to play the 5th fret on the B string, back to the 6th fret on the G, full step bend on the 4th fret of the G, release, and 7th fret on the D string. Wow, so that is a big phrase, that's a lot of notes. Check it out again all together. So now we are already right in position for the third phrase. Okay, so the third phrase is going to start first finger, fifth fret on the B string, second finger, sixth fret on the G. We're going to play both of those strings together and then hammer on with our third finger on the seventh fret of the B string, like this. Like that. Then take our third finger away, play it one more time. Then we're going to pick this sixth fret here on the G and slide that down two frets. Okay, then first finger, second fret on the G. Now we're going to pick the fourth fret on the D string and slide that right back up to the sixth fret. Okay, so now we're back in the fourth position. We're going to pick the fourth fret on the G string three times. Back to the sixth fret on the D. Slide back down to the 4th fret, and the 2nd fret. Here's what that phrase sounds like all together. Our last phrase is going to get in one more string bend, except this time it's only going to be a half step string bend. So, so far we've had three string bends in this solo, and they've all been full step. Bends. This one is a half step, meaning we're only bending up to the pitch of the very next note, the very next fret. If I play the fourth fret here, we're going to bend that up to the fifth fret. And that is actually the same pitch as the open D, which is our next note. Okay, so we're going to bend half step, and then three open D strings. We're going to do that three times. Last time is a little different. We're going to play the bend again, the open D once. Then we're going to play open second fifth on the low E to finish the solo.
like that. So now let's put all of this together. Okay, I'm going to play through it once slow, and I want you to play along with me. I'll have the tab down at the bottom, and then we'll wrap up this video by playing through the whole thing full speed. Check it out. 